Nigeria is the highest producer of cassava in the whole world. But when you look at our yield, we are still producing between 8 to 10 tons per hectare. Compared to Thailand, that they have more than 30 tons per hectare. Brazil, you know? So with our yield, what is coming from our farm is very small. And research work that has been done, baseline activities, we find out that the, the major precursor of that is the issue of uh, the quality of the seed that we are planting. Mbalala lamba fetu o wan kishiga kabelu e hugbin pabe waga. So the the cassava stem people are getting they are not viable. Even when they are viable, they are disease prone. And that is the essence of can we begin to replace them with virus free disease free stems? that can be able to give us the expected yield, minimum of 20 tons per hectare, up to 40 tons per hectare. The most important issue the farmers were facing before this intervention was the access to improved varieties of cassava as well as getting you know the quality planting materials for this improved variety so they didn't have um, the varieties and even for the varieties that were available there were also no planting materials sufficient or high quality planting materials so those were the major problems um, farmers were, were having and of course this told on their income and the output of whatever it is they were planting not getting anywhere close to you know the potential of what they should be getting so those were major challenges of you know the farmers here yeah. when you come to my farmhouse, for example, in Makodi, you will see the, I, sometimes I plant the old ones that people have been using one side and then I plant the improved ones. So you will see, I will give them equal treatment, very good treatment, but you will see that those old systems, old seeds, will still not give you anything tangible as compared to this uh, new system. So we don't get to you my grandpa. Uh, Surene Yangela Sipaye Kun Logoka Kotenga. If I Yansi he project Nigeria, uh, you will be she so off for about ten Kun Logoja Luve Kuo, Kwahipa. Now, how can Yansa he will take Kun Logo never woo your fire? One and one to the case. To the back, take Bishi, I can't get Bishi I'll do an amicable Logoya. I can't young at Bishi. One for a Logan like but do it. But do an amicable Logo. A kaye starch, one kondo pa, she chimbi masiminane, but using starch, but farmers by wheel and chimbi malala. Kabi use starch, la, ida e, ida e, chimbi mami, ma starch, la, bashe goma, bahama quaker logo chi. Now, salutin, starch pa, salutin, popa, qua yak bonelu, salua jay akala qua hita chiga. Hama or Lua Qua Yan Hiona, Shinaro and Yarek Bahacho, Naru Ten, Loko Kurenaka Gampami. This laboratory is mainly focused on uh, making sure that we don't perpetuate pest and diseases through the planting material. And we contributed solutions to counter vital disease problems in the field. This is a virus free plant, cassava plant, you can see. The growth compared to this virus infected plants. From this, you cannot get anything. But from here, the yield will be super. We have also developed what we call, you can call it the pregnancy test kit. From there, you can see that this one has only the negative, there's no positive because we have only just one line. And then here you can see two lines showing that the test was positive. This tool is very, very important because you can use it in the field. Farmers can use it in the field to detect whether the plants have infection or not.
It's not as if we've not had um, challenges. We've had some challenges, you know, being a new technology that we're adapted, adapting to. Uh, where we started from the screen, confined screen um, laboratory, we had, there was a time we had serious problems with contamination, fungus contamination, because it was like really enclosed. So we had to keep fumigating, but this was also not healthy for the people working there. So that was one of the reasons why we also had to, you know, um, improvise the screen house method and which we adapted to. We retiree. My story about pension, he been away. I'm old, long, about Kimmy and Sega. Now I got Tom Sulene. Mbaya, I'm back at university, come on ye. Bakeren, a cane yaliki, been a kai, but a waking digger. Can yaliki Tom Sulo with Logone? Kai Logone, Nam, we came in by him by my cant assembly. She would say, Ya was he? Unangam Yamashega. And Quayang would assemble. Kai Logone, can I cag and it's a kahaga passi yam. We actually started very small. We started with four hectares, but with time, with uh, you know how fast it was growing, was because we could harvest the stem and sell, and so we have enough finances to pay our children's school fees and to finance ourselves for education and other things. And at the end of it all, we will still have the roots to eat and sell. And so for this reason, we indulge ourselves into doing the cassava farming on a very large scale. That was the reason why we now went into 42 hectares last season. Now we are going in for 100 hectares of cassava farming, especially the seed. And this is something that makes me proud and makes me happy whenever I see farmers uh, whose lives and livelihoods are being impacted uh, as a result of selling cassava stems, which before now, nobody knew that it could be a source of income or source of livelihoods um, to farmers. But now they are not giving them free away as freebies, but they are actually making money from it, uh, creating wealth in communities, creating jobs, and living a decent life.